Okay, so I'm going to show you how to render to a movie file in Blender. I'm using version 2.69. It should work pretty much the same in most versions. I am using the Blender render engine with this particular project, uh, just in case you're wondering. And let me show you how to render out your project. There's a difference between saving the file and rendering it. Saving just say, saves the project file, really. So if I hit save as, um, I could give it a name, which I've already done here, and then click save as Blender file. That's how you know you're saved, your project's saved, but you can't actually view that file unless you render it out. So here are a couple of the items you need to know about rendering. Um, this little camera icon is your render area. If you click the word render, you're not rendering the whole project, you're just gonna render a frame, whatever frame you're on in the timeline. Um, if I click on that, hit escape, it gets back out of there. If you wanna actually render the animation, um, you need to click animation and that will render it out as an animation, depending on your choices down here. You can render it out to a QuickTime file, MPEG, H.264, which is also a, a QuickTime file, ABI, so on. I would suggest using either QuickTime, uh, MPEG, or H.264. You'll have less issues with that. Uh, some machines don't have the appropriate player to run certain codecs and so on from, from the other uh, options. So I would suggest that. Um, that's if you're going to render it out to a movie file. Uh, there's other options that I'll cover in another tutorial on how to render out the individual image sequence and then import that into a nonlinear editing system and then render it out um, as your final movie file. I normally do that. It's a little better quality, a little more control, but uh, I'm sure you just want to quickly get to seeing your animation. I'm sure you don't want to render out unnecessary frames. I take a look at my little animation here. Pretty much could stop about there. Um, so around 160 frames, may give it a few extra. Let's say we'll go all the way up to 200, but I'm not going to go to the 250. You control that over here on your render page here. Make sure you've selected the camera icon, uh, start frame and end frame. So I'm going to change that from 250 to 200. And this is my resolution uh, that I set up at the beginning of my project. You can change that anytime you like. If you want to render it out as better quality, um, it'll have to do with the, the resolution there as well as the percentage here. So I can crank that up full for the purpose of the tutorial, I'm just going to leave it at 50%. It's a little quicker rendering. And a couple other options, your anti-aliasing. Uh, that's the smoothness of the pixels around the edges, you'll notice. I just crank that up because it, it makes the image look better. You choose, you know, by default I think it's on PNG. Just switch it over to QuickTime. Uh, RGB is fine. If I wanted to utilize a ba the background as an alpha channel, meaning it's transparent so I can overlay it onto something else, I would use RGBA. A stands for alpha. I don't need that. I'll just take the default JPEG here and make sure the quality is up to 100%. And pretty much that's ready for rendering now. So all I need to do is hit animation and that will start rendering out the file. Done. No, my computer is not that fast. I sped that up. One thing I want to let you know here is by default, it gives you an output directory of slash temp slash. Um, the problem with this for a lot of people is that uh, on Mac, um, you'll notice you can't even see that folder on your drive because it's actually a hidden drive and if you try to use a search, you will not see it either. Which is no point in doing that because you really shouldn't be saving that directory anyway. You can get to it if you just go to go, go to folder, and type it in there and click there and then you can actually see that it's saved the file here. Let's take a quick look at that. Okay, but what you should be doing is uh, choosing a directory and saving it there so you can actually navigate to a different directory.
you know, create a directory here, a directory. My nation save. And then say accept. And then now you notice that's going to be the directory is going to save in my default. That way you can easily find it. So make sure you do that. Okay, select that, escape. One, one thing to keep in mind is the frame rate for the rest of your project, especially if you're bringing it into an editing system. You want to make sure that this frame rate matches the rest of your project. And um, that is pretty much it for rendering to a movie file in Blender 2.69. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.